Welcome back to Bountiful Gardens. Let's take a look at what's in bloom for the first week of June. These are Scaviola. They're a sun-loving annual that is drought tolerant and requires very minimal maintenance. They are a great option when looking for an annual that will trail out of your planter. We're back again at Bountiful Gardens with our huge selection of annual salvias. As you can see, we've got a large selection of colors in stock right now. They're definitely worth checking out. They're deer resistant and hummingbirds also love them. Our bunny tails are in full fluffy bloom. They're a type of grass and they're really popular to use for a pop of texture in your container garden. They're really, really soft and super fun to play with too. These are snapdragons. They're a sun-loving annual that loves to be well watered and will do best when you take off any of the dead blooms. Here we have Thunbergia, also known as Black-Eyed Susan Vine. We have them in orange, yellow, and pink. These climbers get upwards of eight feet tall and they bloom in the summer. So if you're looking for something different, come pick these up. This tropical acroma tree is perfect for your patio. These are zinnias, and this variety is great for cut flowers as they're quite tall. They're a drought-tolerant, sun-loving annual that butterflies adore. And if you let them go to seed, you'll see a whole bunch of goldfinches. Now that it feels a little more tropical outside, our bananas and cannas are out of the greenhouses and ready for planting. These are really fast-growing, lush tropical plants, great for a pool or a patio area. What's great about them too is that once the summer is done, you can cut them back and bring them inside into the garage or a dark place in the home and bring them outside again next year to plant again. They'll keep regrowing season after season. It's a great time to get your nanas and cannas. Our indoor and tropical house has gotten a major refresh with all sorts of new plants like calathea and ficus plants. We've got a lot of brand new citrus trees in, things like Meyer lemons, dwarf key limes, and even some grapefruits as well. We've also just gotten a major restock of all sorts of philodendrons, including the pink princess. This is Larkspur, also known as Delphinium. It's a Northeast perennial native that likes full sun. This flower is great to attract both bees and butterflies to your garden. Here at Bountiful Gardens, our sun drops are in bloom. These yellow blooming native perennials are also known as evening primrose. They are drought tolerant and deer and rabbit resistant. Culver's root or Veronicastrum is a tall, elegant native plant with spikes of white, pink, or purple flowers that begin in late spring or early summer. It's a pollinator magnet and it's a good choice as a vertical element in a garden setting or meadow planting. These are serviceberry, otherwise known as shadblow. They're a native here that likes damp, well-drained soil, and their edible berries form in June. We're back again at Bountiful Gardens with our huge color selection of Monarda, or bee balm. It's a North American native and prefers full sun, but can also do a little bit of shade. It's great because it attracts both butterflies and bees. It's also deer and rabbit resistant and would look great in a butterfly garden or as a perennial border. These are Sweet Bay Magnolias. They're native and like clay soil and partial shade. Their white saucer-shaped flowers have the sweetest smell. Redbuds are just one of the trees that we have here at Bountiful Gardens. The Eastern Redbud in particular is a New Jersey native, but we have a ton of cultivars to fit all your needs and color selections. They're popular amongst customers because of their heart-shaped leaves. They also attract butterflies and nesting birds. It's been a few weeks since we last checked in on the St. John's Fort, and as you can see, it's still blooming strong. It's going to continue blooming through the rest of the summer, and some of them are already forming the little ornamental berries that are going to stay on the shrubs through the season and then start changing colors in autumn too. So that'll be exciting to see soon. If you're looking for a ground cover for a woodland or shady garden, Epimidium, also known as barrenwort, is an excellent choice. Epimidium is semi-evergreen with the foliage you see in front of you lasting through most of this coming winter. 
I like to clip off the old foliage late in the winter or early spring before the new foliage emerges. Epimidium does terrific in dry shade. The flowers, which resemble orchids, come in numerous colors and it's deer resistant. We have more clematis in bloom, like this beautiful variety in front of me. With their fern-like foliage, aster bees are a terrific addition to a woodland or shady garden. Flower spikes emerge in late spring, ranging in colors from reds to pinks to purple to white. And they make an excellent cut flower, either dried or fresh. This is another one of our perennials here at Bountiful Garden that loves full sun, the blanket flower. They're also deer and rabbit resistant, which makes them perfect for most gardens. They look great, especially with echinacea, shasta daisies, and phlox surrounding them. Balloon flower is a perennial with fun, colorful blooms. Ligularia is a robust grower that will make a dramatic statement in your shade garden with its large serrated leaves and flower spikes of orange and yellow flowers in midsummer. We have another food forest update for you here. We have red raspberries and blackberries. These are great in full sun to part sun and are a wonderful addition to shadier parts of your garden or your food forest. Our eucalyptus is looking fuller than ever. If you can remember from a couple weeks ago, these were tiny plants, so they're really fast growing. They're a great way to add some fragrance into your herb garden or container planting. If you have a really sunny location and you'd like to start a Mediterranean garden, we have a wide assortment of herbs for you here. We have oregano, we have thyme, sage, rosemary, all different types of varieties that you can use in your cooking. We've gotten a massive restock of all different varieties of lavender. Some fun stuff like the fern leaf for texture or the primavera for a very large dramatic flower or the Goodwin Creek, which is an overall large plant with long stalks of purple flowers. It's great for the herb garden or just a container garden because it's fragrant and good in culinary use. Goshiki osmanthus or false holly is an attractive evergreen shrub that does well in part sun. Its colorful variegated foliage with pinkish orange new growth is followed by fragrant white flowers in late summer to early fall. These are Weeping Blue Colorado Spruce. These are a great choice for people who want more of an ornamental tree in their yard because they grow in these really dramatic fashions with branches that sort of drape down or weep like the name suggests. They have this really striking blue foliage too, so they'll really stand out in your yard. They love full sun and they can grow about eight to nine feet tall, no higher than 10 foot. I'm here with boxwoods. Boxwoods are wonderful foundation plants, topiary plants, good for edges and hedges. One common mistake with boxwoods is overwatering, so be sure to evenly water your boxwoods. We have many varieties, many types. Here is American boxwood. We have winter gem and many more. These are dwarf Alberta spruce. These are a really popular choice for people who want a slow growing evergreen that they don't need to maintain that often. It actually keeps the shape naturally, so if you want to trim it and smooth the edges, you can, or you can leave it as it is and enjoy its natural conical shape. They're also a popular choice for topiaries or spirals because they're so slow growing, so they usually only need to trim once a year if you want to keep this kind of shape. <laughs> 